if finding a new Earth-like planet not cool enough for you. NASA says there could be some others out there. Chad, mm -hmm. wow, I'm, I'm excited. This is just really, <laughs> this is so fascinating. There could be other planets like ours, yes. life elsewhere. What, what, are, what are they talking about? They have used this Kepler telescope, which is out in space. It's yeah. up there, it's like a satellite, and it's shooting, so it doesn't have to worry about all the pollution that a ground-based telescope is looking through, right? So it's out there looking through clean air, and 600 light years away, it found a star. And around this star, it found a planet, two and a half times bigger than the Earth, but right in the Goldilocks area. You know what that means? No. Nope. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Okay. So if it's too cold, <laughs> like like out in Neptune, it would be too cold to have yes. water, liquid water. To like Mercury and Venus, it would be too warm because it would just kind of be it would be steam. But somewhere in the middle, they found this beautiful planet, and they gave it a great name, Kepler 22b. <laughs> so whatever. So here's here's what we know. We have our sun and we have this blue line. That's our Earth's rotation, our orbit around our sun. The sun that they found up here, kept between the Kepler 22 system, slightly smaller than our sun, slightly cooler than our sun, but the same type of class, the same type of sun. And then they found this planet rotating around it almost the exact same distance away. In fact, we take 365 days to go around, or at least approximately. This planet takes 290 days to go around. So it's almost in the exact perfect spot. They have 54 more planets that they have to look at as well, that they all find, they have found them in this habitable zone. A beautiful thing, 600 light years away. That means that even the light we're seeing from it right now is 600 years old but they can estimate that the temperature on this planet is 72 degrees. Now that to me sounds like San Diego. And if that's awesome. great, if I can get there, I, I love San Diego. You, know, you don't have to worry about it snowing there. Orbits a sun-like star every 290 days. And uh, there's, uh, this is the first. This is the, this is the big announcement yesterday. This is the first of many, many more announcements that NASA will have. We are going to have hundreds, if not thousands, of these Earth-like planets now that we have Kepler up and running like it is uh, right Chad, now. Chad, you know the question is going to be like, how do I get there and how, when can I go? But that's like <laughs> ways away, right? That's, that's a long, long time. Yeah, I, I'm afraid it would take a long time to get 600 light years at, what, 22,000 miles an hour? Uh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Sounds like a nice place, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank